Hey guys, welcome to my new channel. And on this channel, I'll be doing uh, breakdowns of things like photo shoots, Photoshop, makeup, and all that. Uh, making stuff. I'll just pretty much be doing tutorials for you guys. And so here's the first video. Hope you enjoy it. And let's get into it. Yeah. Hey, how's it going guys? So now we're on Photoshop and here's the picture that we took, one of them at least. You see all my mustache and I didn't wear contacts for the sake of this video so we can have a look at how natural it can be to change your eye color on Photoshop. Not because I was lazy and didn't want to put contacts in. Okay, one layer in. Got rid of the skin things from all those steroid abuse. Here's the eye fix. Uh, what else? What else? Yeah, I uh, fixed my frame for Goku. And the hair was a bit flat, so I brought that up a bit and fixed the eye bags. There's heaps of different ways of doing that. Uh, for now, I'm just doing a quick breakdown. Maybe another time I'll show you how to do that. Next layer, we got rid of the light stands and the thing in the corner which is another light stand now it just looks like the light bulbs floating ultra realistic yeah next one we made the light more luminescent more bright and got this cool little effect going with the hands yep next layer filled up that gap where the light bulb ended and now it looks like a ball. So we're making it look a bit more realistic now. Looks good. Next one, put a few rays in there, just like the anime has and how a lot of art people draw it. So with this, to make it natural, you've got to erase it a bit, uh, blur it a bit. You can see some blurs there with the luminescence. And this was just done with the paint tool. You just gotta play with the opacity a bit. Next one, nothing. So I have layers with nothing in it because that's how I roll. Next one, we put a lens flare in the Command Meha to make it a bit more bright just to blind you. And then the next one after that is nothing again. And after that, I exaggerate the lighting a bit, the lighting, the detail because if if there's a light source right there, you're gonna have a lot of light bouncing off of it and reflecting the light. And to make it look more realistic, you've gotta exaggerate it a lot. After that, we've got the shadows. So with great light comes great shadows. I'm pretty sure I made up that quote by myself. Not from a superhero movie. And so, yeah, with all the light, a lot of shadow comes through. So without the shadow, it doesn't look that realistic. Yeah. Next is really important. You gotta play around with these buttons here. You can play with the contrast and brightness, which is this one here. After that, I played with the exposure. So there's no set way of doing it properly. You just gotta do what feels right. Just get the feel, you know? Just checking the, the recording. Uh, the next one, I played with the vibrance a bit. Added a bit more color into the background so it looks more like a sky. Added color into the uniform, the hair. And after that, uh, played with the color balance to make it look more realistic. So with a lot of cosplayers, when they edit their photos, they don't play with this and your picture ends up a lot uh, purple or whatever, however the picture was taken. And with all the edits, you've got to make sure it's all balanced out in the end before you upload it, I guess. And then the next one, I don't know what I did there. I lightened it, yep. Then after that, I lightened just my face. And there you have the picture. So if you like videos like this, um, subscribe to the channel and I'll be doing more thorough, not thorough, I don't know, more 
detailed breakdowns of things later on not just photoshop but uh photo shoots and all that as well so yeah if you're into that kind of thing stick around and i'll see you next time bye